Hi, good afternoon, Corey Thorne, Psychic Medium, Spiritual Healer, Life Coach, coming in to do the channel messages for the month of November. Um, yes, we're a couple days in. I am trying to get through them all. Uh, this one is for Aries. Please remember, this is not to replace any uh, psychological um, or medical advice that you have been given. This is to be taken as a form of entertainment only. It is not a personal reading. It is a general collective message that is channeled through from the channel that speaks to me from the divine. Um, I do use the cards of other people while I'm doing this, and this is not the interpretation of what is in the book for them. What they write is often, sometimes, but it is... It is more of, sorry, that's my dogs. It is actually more of the, um, just to validate the messages that are coming through. My Yorkies are having a fight, so <laughs> bear with me. For Aries, I have a sense of um, internal struggles that have been playing with you for some time. I feel very emotional around this. I feel a sense that a lot of my Aries energy has been very much uh, through September, October. I want to say trailed you through 2019 was an emotional sense of disconnect or from self or, or an, un an uncertainty within your heart or within yourself. Um, November feels like every little moment of the past has risen again just to give you one last reminder of what you don't want for 2020 as 2020 is approaching fast. I feel like for a lot of you is that essence of the Chiron being in Aries so strong in the astrology, which is, I'm not an astrologer, but this is um, exactly as I get it, is that with Chiron being so in Aries that the wounded healers, the healer within yourself, the wound itself had to really walk a lot of this journey alone, a sense that you had to do a lot of the healing work yourself during 2019. Um, and October was kind of a slide through. It's like sliding into home base. November feels like, okay, I'm sitting in home base. I'm looking back around at all of, all of life and I can see I can see everything that I had been through, but I'm not there no more. And um, what comes up is the essence that you're not seeing kind of anything right now, or you're not seeing a, um, a, des a destination, like you're not seeing exactly where you need to go. And you're being asked to trust. A lot of trust issues for Aries coming up for, for November. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, my sinuses all of a sudden started to drain in between here. So I don't know if somebody has some sinus issues, um, a lot of anger that has been built up in because you, um, it's like you put a lot of trust and a lot of faith in everyone else and you've had a lot of disappointment in your life or in the past couple of months. And this is a time to uh, let that go. But you also find yourself in Aries because of the strong personalities that are often linked with an Aries is the essence of being a little bit kind of angry at the wrong people, angry at the people in your life you shouldn't be angry at, kind of distancing yourself a little bit, but you're also walking away from old, from friendships and stuff that doesn't align. I'm just kind of looked at my window and a butterfly or moth just flew past and it is November. There is no way that should be happening. Um, there's a time of transformation again, a time of transformation that is arising and growing within you. And you're being asked to trust this. And it's, um, it's, it's a lot of alone time I'm getting. So I have the Ori, Ori Desert and the One, King, One Ring Circus is that it's been like your own journey. Like this has been a personal journey that you've been on or you're on or you're on a personal journey in November. So if you feel as if, why isn't anybody with me or why do, why, why, do, why am I always alone or why do I have to do all this alone? You're not, you're never alone. Remember that. Please remember you're never alone. We always have the divine universe that just like wraps us and engulfs us. And this is call it Baron Reed's, um, uh, what are they called? God, I can't remember nothing today. These are the map, uh, journey of the soul or mapping. Uh, oh, sorry. The enchanted map, the enchanted map deck of cards. And, um, 
that we're never alone. And I just feel like see another card with one one person sitting all alone, whether you're male, female, doesn't matter. It's the essence of it. Um, you've been learning, you've been growing and see into the unknown. You're not meant to see what's happening next. You're not supposed to know exactly what's taking place. You're being asked to kind of trust that you've been well prepared or well, um, well decorated into uh, the design. Like you've been, but the, the healer needed to heal. Everything that, you, everything that you experienced had to happen in this wizard of awareness is that there's just this new level or an, an up-leveling of life that is taking place. And as much as sometimes we resist this, and I feel like Aries, a lot of you keep trying to resist this or you keep feeling as if you are not worthy of the life that's being handed to you, is that up-leveling. You're up-leveling into 2020. You're up-leveling and you take 2020 and you look at it and you take it to zeros and we have two twos, which is a four. <laughs> and so it just feels like the essence of, um, if you take those numbers, and this is how I'm getting, is that those numbers can be created into anything that you want them to be. You can be anything that you truly know that your heart desires for you to be in 2020. You have to release and let go of the past in order to be all of what you know you are here to be. Um, the journey of walking alone is often the path of those people who are ascending on into something new and that you are not, you're not alone. You're not walking alone and you're definitely not, and you're definitely not headed into uh, a world of destruction <laughs> unless you choose that path. You, we have free will. Always remember that with every one of these sessions, every one of these, um, Every one of these um, channeled messages is that you have free will. This is just a channeled message that I'm receiving. And the essence of the night, and as the moons change, and I feel as if when the new moon hits in November, um, get very clear with yourself on what you're finally done doing. And I feel like there's some tough questions that need to be asked. So whether that's at work or it's in a relationship, you need to ask the tough questions because if if there is a opportunity for growth or if there's a if there's an opportunity for a relationship to go further or or if it's not and if it's not working you need to know now you need to know now you need to know exactly um exactly what someone else's intentions are within your life whether it's a company that was like oh we really want you to stay but another job offer is coming up and you're like well i really want to take that other job it's like Ask that a company, what is your intentions? Are you, are you closing? Are you staying open? Are you laying people off? Are you firing? What is happening that's, that's bringing about some change in our world? And I, cause I do feel as if there's the essence of a shift and change there and you have to do what's right for you. I am picking up also for Aries, a really good lucrative business deal coming in for some of you. Now this is people who are in business, who've been fighting their way through, getting through and it's just like, now here is a lucrative business deal coming up. It's an opportunity and you have to know your worth to jump into this and to not say no. This time, don't say no. And I feel like many other times you said, no, no, not for me, not for me. Or you're afraid to make that leap. It's like, don't say no. Go the distance, take it on. Um, this feels like it's coming closer to the end of November. Just when you feel like you're losing faith, um, have faith, have faith, have faith, have faith. Um, I'm also picking up the family and I feel as if there's a sense of being offered a, uh, some areas are being offered like a, a peace offering. So if you've had some disagreements with a family member, it could be a spouse, it could be a sister, brother, it could be a child. There's some sort of peace offering, like somebody is being the one to step up and it might be you who has to step up and offer the peace offer offering. No relationship is ever the change, is never the, the same after a disagreement or a fight, but it could always be better. Remember that it could always be something that's an improvement not something of going back because you're not here to go back into the exact same. You're here to rise above. And that is the whole journey of the Aries for 2020 is that you're like a hot air balloon. You're here to keep rising up. You're adding more momentum into your life because 2019 has taught you some really tough ass lessons. And you're here to 
to may have that free will choice to stay in misery or to make a choice to rise above it. This is about allowing all of your dreams come through. It's the imagination that kid like it's time for joy and happiness that you have been seeking for a long time. And I feel as if it's coming. I truly honestly feel as if a sense of a wedding, a marriage, a proposal coming for a lot of my areas. And I feel like that's coming, if not Christmas before Christmas. Um, and uh, a true commitment and that and uh, of course it, a true commitment is like i'm all yours i'm in this for the long run with you for the long haul with you you are my partner that's what it feels like to me and to stay optimistic because as much as we have been challenged we're also going to now be blessed so there's an essence of there's a blessing coming remember gratitude gratitude is an absolute must this is during virtue mother mary cards um Stay devoted to your cause, which is happiness and joy and contentment within your heart and knowing as an Aries, we are number one. You're allowed to be a number one in your world. It doesn't mean that you're, that you think you're better than everybody else. It just means you know that you're worthy of everything. Truly trust the process that as hard as it may seem for some right now, that just trust that whatever is taking place, whatever is happening, is that you are aligning to who you are meant to be if you choose to walk the journey into the unknown, into a path of just knowing I'm going to trust this process. I'm having a lot of faith and I truly believe in myself of being worthy and starting to recognize the places in your life where you, where you are uh, allowing yourself to self-sabotage based on worth. And the card that comes up with that is grace. And this is truly about knowing that you are worthy because you are the light of a God consciousness, you're a light of whatever God means for you. You are that light and you're the exact same light as every other creation of the God creation. And you're worthy of the world that is being bestowed upon you. I feel like 2020 will be a different, you will be a very different year for a lot of my Aries. Um, like I said, if you're a business or going in business, there's a prime time to start planning now, start preparing doesn't mean if blessings are coming means you've got to start putting the action steps in, clear up the rest of the past, let go of what's not serving you and allow yourself to truly live in the awe of excitement of something wonderful happening and coming around you. You're not alone. Yes, you have to face a lot of things alone, but you're not alone. Much love to you all Aries and have a wonderful November. Bye-bye.